Hello everyone, this is your friend Paramix, and today I'm here to talk about two of the things that I really like the most is Houdini and Python together. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love writing tools uh, in Houdini in Python. It's uh, one of the things that I enjoy a lot. Uh, and today we're going to talk about adding custom uh, Python interfaces to your tools. like. You can basically do whatever you want as the parameters for your tool. So this is really exciting. Uh, some of the examples that are already in, in, in Houdini using this is in the Solaris context, the light mixer and the stage manager are using this. So they are good, really good examples for controlling lights to creating a lot of objects. And this is something that I'm, not sure that it's been documented. It's something that I that was really, really excited when I saw this in the Houdini 18 beta. I don't think there's much uh, fuss about it, but I love it. And I've been trying to do something with this and I finally figured out how to do it. Just looking at some code, looking at the included tools in Houdini. And I now know how to do it and I will show you how to do it, which is great. Right? You won't have to go through all of these things that I had to do to, to get to know how to do it. All right. I'm pretty excited about this. I know you're going to enjoy this. So let's uh, get on with the tutorial. All right. So as I said, I'm very excited about this because I finally know how to do it. All right. So you can see I have uh, a regular null here, but I have a tool here. If I select this tool, see now it has this custom UI and it's this is actually the parameters for the tool you can see I uh, hooked this uh, added some sliders here and uh, a button which does nothing but it's clickable but you can grab this and you can see if I drag this you can see in the viewport here that I'm actually modifying my tool with this if I change this I'm actually modifying it so this is an HDA that I created and this is for opening the window. If I click it right, you can even scroll on these fields and all that stuff. Pretty cool. I'm super happy about this. This just opens a lot of uh, uh, possibilities for custom interfaces in Python. So I'm going to show you in this uh, first part how to get something showing here for the parameters. And then we're gonna see uh, in part two how to make a custom UI and I'm not sure if it's just gonna be a part three about uh, writing all the code because there's some steps for this. So if you really don't have a need for a custom interface, maybe it's not really uh, useful for you, but if you really want something custom, then it's this is gonna be exactly what you're looking for. So, all right, let's start with uh, with something here. I'm gonna just track this content just so I can make a new tool here. Just create a new geometry node. Let's call this window two. Gonna get in there, paste the tab. So I'm just gonna, I don't wanna do the same setup uh, over again, but I'm gonna just say, it, uh, with this stuff selected, we're going to create an HDA, a new digital asset from selection, and this I'm going to save it in the project, not in the global directory, I have one here, so I'm going to call this uh, window tutorial one HDA. And then I'm going to call the name mix. If you use, um, if you're in your pipeline or your tool, you use this namespace, it's okay if you use it, uh, just make sure, uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what, how you do this name. So I'm going to call this window to toot because there's another one and it's called make this version one, let's say. If you use this kind of, um, namespace and versioning, it's okay. It will work. Make this window, window tutorial. So that's the information we need. It's gonna accept it. It's gonna create this guy. We can give it an icon, whatever icon is fine. 
This is not, we're not going to talk about HDAs today, but if you don't know how to make HDAs, it will be nice to just uh, refresh on that one, on that part. Uh, let me use this as, an, as a window. All right, so this is what we need to do here. We really don't need to do anything else here, but we need to uh, take note of this name. Well, we can get it another way, but for now, let's just accept. We should have now uh, a window. Let's just make mix window. Um, no there, we can create another one. Mix window, you can see there, I have two now. So this is my second window there. Okay, so we create this geometry. There's just a window on a wall. Nothing super uh, interesting, just so, so we can uh, make something fast. So we have no parameters here uh, for this tool right now. Hey you, it's me again. <laughs> just a quick interruption. If you're enjoying the content here in the channel, if you enjoy the content, if we have helped you in some way, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. This will help us reach more people and help more people uh, figure out this crazy world of Houdini. So please just like and subscribe if you can. And now back to your tutorial, right? So how do we do this? Well, we need to make uh, a pipe, pipe panel. And if you don't know what pipe panels are, are actually these guys. If you open this uh, Python panel editor, there are some panels that come with Houdini, like, uh, let's say, open the uh, 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 auto rigs. This is Pi panel. This is floating, but it's Pi panel, which is basically means that it's a panel made in Python. Uh, there's a, the character picker is also a Pi panel. Uh, there are other ones here, even, even, Pulse library is a Pi panel, which is pretty cool. The even Renderman has some Pi panels that it have come with uh, Renderman. If you can click here, you can see Renderman has the preset browser as a Pi panel as well, uh, which is pretty cool. It's just basically a, pa a panel here that you can uh, have anywhere in Houdini and it's made with Python. So we're gonna make one. Uh, this is also a, a custom Pi panel that I use a lot. I went to uh, click here and go to new panel type and just use the uh, here in miscellaneous Python panel. So this is the Python panel that you, gives you a quick start. If you haven't used Python panels, I, I encourage you to go through this so you can make your first one. Basically what you are going to end up with is, I think, well, I don't have it here, but you can see I have many other Python panels here uh, that I created, I have a to-do list, I have some other things, and this is the window asset that I made uh, right now, but it's, eh, it is there, wait, I don't want to talk about <laughs> why is this doing that right now, but uh, yeah, I have the project manager I'll show you, this this is a pie panel as well, so uh, I'm, we're going to go here to this cogwheel and say new interface, okay, click on it, it's going to open this window, which we already had open which is the same as opening this Python panel editor. So here we have a new interface. We'll save it on a specific file because I don't want, I don't like to save everything on the default Py panel. Let's just make its own file and accept it. Now give it a name. Let's call it window uh, asset tutorial. And that label is just gonna, what's gonna show here, basically in the tab. Let's call this mix window, window asset. And then you can give it an icon if you want. I'm not gonna do that. It's just fine for now. And if you click apply, uh, go to the, uh, change this, I don't know, click here on this drop down and you don't find it. Well, there is some code here already. You can see there's some hello world code. Uh, to see it here in this in this menu, you have to go to this toolbar menu. That's what it is. This toolbar menu is this one. And this paint tab menu is this one. This one right here. So if you want to see it on those ones, you need to move it there. So let's go here. Here it is. I have to just click it and 
click on this to make it go to the other side and if i go and see here now there it is okay it is still it's not here we don't really need it to be there because it's going to be for a node but if you want it you have to do it in this part as well uh for now again we don't need it so let's just select it here and click it and there we go we have a hello world uh pi panel working we can go here let me just delete all this sample kit all these nodes there are part of that uh code so you can you can just see the sample code we can say hello world of python and apply and you can see it there it is right that's what it's doing well this is uh part of this is is done basically but we need to set up this to actually appear with the node because the node right now has this default uh interface and uh, after some investigation uh, because this is basically not uh, that i know is not even documented i uh after seeing some uh, of the side effects tools and, and some code and stuff like that i found out how to do it so what you need to do is go to your so this part and then there is this menu here this section but i'm pain hints which uh doesn't really tell you much but there's this option showing parameters pain, which is actually what you need to activate. So it uh, appears as a parameters for a node. And then you need to say for what operators it shows here. So you need to tell it what node is gonna be using this basically. So how I uh, do this is basically if you middle click here and see, you can see the type here. But this is not all you need. If you put this name here, mix, blah, 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 it's not gonna work. So what you really need, let me click here. What you really need is what it says here at the bottom. You can see there's the, where we save the tool, blah, 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 that HDA, and then this, this question mark. You need all this uh, text after this question mark, okay? So let's type that in there. So it's gonna be mix. Uh, exactly as is, as you see it there, we uh, caps letters and everything. Window uh, tut uh, column column 1.0. So that's how, what you need to put there, right? You can see this is mirroring this. Again, everything after this question mark is what you need to put there exactly with the capital letters, uh, back and forward slashes, etc. However you name your tool, it should be formatted here a little bit different maybe. So be careful with what you type there. So let's hit apply and maybe just close that and close this. And let's make a null here just so we can see another parameter interface. And let's click here. So we see in the null and we select this guy and look at that. We have hello world showing there. I mean, it's not doing anything yet <laughs> uh but we have the the uh parameters shown so at this point if you know python and if you know how do you make pi panels and work with nodes and stuff i think you already uh have what you need to start working with this because at this point it's just you can just you connected uh this python pi panel to your node basically which is it's great look at that and if we go and, and modify this to edit interface again, and I don't know, then maybe just add a button or something. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, instead of uh, switch it equals QT widgets dot uh, Q push button. And we put a text for this, like click me, click me there, like that. Now we can uh, comment that line. So we return this widget, apply, and then you can see we have a giant button covering the whole uh, uh, pane there. So we can go back. Sorry, I closed the parameters. Parameters, let's put it back over here this select this select that and you can see now we have a giant button as the parameters for this um for this node i mean it's not useful 
but you can see the, the potential and you can just do exactly whatever you want basically in this node now uh, okay I guess we're gonna uh, leave it there for today and uh, if you that's all you needed uh, that's now you know how to get from there to maybe uh, next part we will be doing this uh, this note here oh sorry did it crash anyway it's fine so yes that is uh, how you make a pi panel into a uh, parameters for a node in the next part we're gonna make a custom class for this uh, make the code external and then later uh, create our own ui and connect it to the node and then connect the parameters of the ui to the actual hda and control it all right uh that's it for today i will see you in the next part thank you